All right, it's been four days since we caught those fish with Suzuki-san. And right now I'm back, wi I'm back with Chef Suda at his restaurant Okimizuki in the Kamo Aquarium. And we have our fish here that actually have been aged for four days. And the reason why we're able to age our fish for four days is because Chef Suda performed Ikijime, the method I showed you in the video on the boat that allows us to age the fish and enhance the flavors. And today we're going we're to eat the fish in a very special method called Yubiki. I've never seen it before, but uh, Chef Suda explains to me that yupiki is a very, very important me uh, culinary method in washoku, Japanese cuisine. So first of all, we're going to take these fish, we're going, to, we're going to butcher them into fillets, and then we're going to perform yupiki on them. Okay, to start things off, Chef Suda is going to prepare the larger tie and demonstrate to us how we perform sanmai oroshi on these fish. And then with the smaller tie right here, I'm going to give it a shot. So we'll see how it goes. どうしますか刃先を使って鱗を取っていきます。また顎。はい、次は はい、これが3枚おろしですね。次は腹骨を取っていきます。はい、じゃあこちらが3枚おろしになります。では次は柵取り。返してはい。
閉めます。こちらは花穂って言いますね。花穂。花穂も添えます。はい。はい。ではこれで出来上がりになります。All right, so we just saw Chef Suda masterfully、um, break down that tie and also cook it as well.、Um, so now with the smaller tie, I'm going to give it a shot as well.、はい、so now we're taking off the scales. Oh, he's saying I, should, I need to do it very lightly. Ow, okay, I, I poked myself. <laughs> yeah, that's very hard. Yeah. So, if you see here, I'm bleeding. It's because、um, I didn't pay attention to the, the fish and I ran my thumb into the fin, which pierced me. Most of the time, So, he's showing me a safer way to hold it. I can tell you that this is a lot harder <laughs> than <laughs> it looked. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the next step, we're using the devil hocho to take off the smaller scales. And with the heel of the devil h o c h o we'll be taking the, the smaller scales off the bottom of the fish. These are the places that the descaler could not reach. So, so, so. And now using the heel. Okay, and for the next part, we actually had to fast forward it because I took too long. Anyways, Chef Suda was by my side to help prepare the rest of the Thai.、Um, definitely a very technical fish. Although very delicious, very difficult to prepare, very bony. So, the cuts, for example, right here, they have to be made at very, very precise angles. So, having chefs to the right by my side to help constantly、um, fix the position of my knife was extremely helpful. Right here, he's even giving me tips about how to angle my knife. So, thanks to having, them, thanks to having chefs to the by my side, I was, able to I was able to prepare this tie. Although, I definitely took a long time and I probably drove him nuts by all the mistakes I made. Like right here, that cutting, that cutting technique is very, very bad. <laughs> Luckily, Chef Su is very, very patient, and with his help, I managed to get through the、um, preparation of the Thai. All right, so it's been quite the process over these past four days.、Um, first of all, we caught the fish with Suzuki san out in the ocean, just right out there. And now we're back at Okimizuki. Again, a beautiful restaurant inside the Kamo Aquarium, has a beautiful 180 degree, of view,、uh, 180 degree view of the ocean. Aged the fish for four days. And together with Chef Suda, or mainly thanks to Chef Suda, we were able to break down the fish into fillets and then prepare a special dish in, through a method called yubiki. So, now for the best part, we're gonna try it and see what it tastes like. Fresh Thai from the Sea of Japan off the coast of Suraoka City. You can see that the skin is still on, on this fish. And I'm, gonna, I want, I'm really curious as to what. That brief moment of hot water, that brief moment of boiling water, did to the texture and the flavor of the fish. So just a bit to show you.、Mm. It has very, very distinct, very pure flavor, very strong flavor. And it, it, it feels like the, the, the brief moment that it was doused in boiling water and then, and then put into the ice it really gives it a different structure, a different texture than normal sashimi. Um, and I've, I've had Thai around Japan at many sushi restaurants,、uh, and I gotta say that the Thai here, the Thai I'm having right now, it's just so fresh. The flavor is just so clear, so like, vivid. It's very, very good. This is among the best Thai I've ever had in Japan. And to be able to see the process, catching it on the boat, handling the fish from start to finish, that made it all the more special. So, here at the Hidden Japan, we do this is our new experience, catch and cooks, where either we're gonna catch it. By fishing, or we're going to join a fisherman and catch the fish together, and then join the famous chefs here in Yamagata to break down the fish and to prepare delicious dishes just like this. And in addition to yubiki, there's also a number of other methods that we can prepare the fish as well, including sushi, including a donpodi, a kaisen don, and many, many other dishes. So if you're interested in this program,、um, feel free to visit our website, send us an email.
And then once we get in contact, we can talk about what type of dish you want to make. Or if you need advice, I'll give you a list of recommendations and you can choose which one you want to do. So anyways, if you're interested in this, please take a look at the link below. You can, you can sign up there or you can send us a message. Anyways, thanks for joining me over these four days and hope to see you next time.